Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're going to take a look at Leon Kaiser from the Brave of Gold Gold Ram series. Now, we are going to put him into one of his combined mode, but it's not going to be the great Gold Ram mode, so I'm going to save that for another video this week. But we've already taken a look at Sorokagi, and we've already taken a look at Gold Ram, so I will leave those links in the description if you haven't seen those already. First off, let's take a look at uh, Leon, which is the little jet here, little fighter jet. Doesn't look too bad. I'll bring it in a little bit closer so you can see all the nice little chrome. Does have a few stickers that you need to apply. And this one's actually the Takara version, which the other two members that I have for this set, uh, they are actually Sonicone versions. But you have no problem on whether uh, you, know, you buy and switch sets up. They're going to fit together exactly the way they need to, whether you buy all Sonicone or all Takara. So... I uh, just wanted to put that out there because that's something I was a little bit worried about. Uh, you can put the landing gear up there. As you can see, you can see most of the robot here at the bottom. But this is a very minor piece, and he transforms to a jet robot, has a bit of articulation, and he's also the waste piece for great gold rant. So in three modes, this size, it's actually quite a decent little uh, fighter jet in my opinion. Doesn't look too bad. But let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. I uh, just want to make sure that it is focused on camera here for you. First thing that we're going to do is pull back with this section and it folds back just like most transformers do. This section here, fold these around, fold that around, bring that one around. Same with that. Pull out here. And what's really cool is you have a little bit of separation here with the legs, but that has to do with him being a waist piece. And he does have some rotation here in the shoulders and then he has ball joints here in the elbows. Now he does come with a weapon. I'm going to grab that real quick. This little spear thing here it has a little notch there. Put that in his hand. And there you go. Not too bad. Again, for him being, I guess, the size that he is, uh, let's go. there's a G1 side swap. And you can see he's maybe a little bit taller than him. But, uh, you know, for three different modes, pretty nice articulation. It's even better than, you know, this guy. So there you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set him to the side for the moment. If I can find a spot to put them, I have a lot of comparisons for you guys. And let's take a look at Kaiser here, uh, which is beautiful. You can see all the gold here at the feet, the claws, all throughout here on the side. These are actually stickers you're going to put on. And these are being the Dakara stickers. They're much better in quality than the Sonicong version. So that's really the only two difference between those two versions. You see, he's got some nice gold here, stickers that you'll apply there. These little things will come out that'll go into Great Gold Rand's uh, face. Make them look a little bit more grand. Do have some missiles. They do fire. They're all at one time, either for the three on this side or this side. I will show that off here in a bit. But just nice all over. I'll uh, let this head up. Uh, this little mouth, a little open and shut there. You can see that it doesn't look too bad. I had the face all the way out. And his little tail has got a little bit of articulation here as well. Uh, it can bend right here. And it also has a little missile back here, which can fire. I just went flying somewhere. Let me show that again, just in case it didn't show up. But yeah, there you go. As far as articulation in this mode, uh, it's pretty standard. It moves right here, he can bend here. That's all part of you know transformation. Uh, right here, he can come in and out, part of a transformation. But he can also, you know, bend here, bend this back, and then also bend right here if you wanted to. It's all part of transformation, but uh, this fine, this way looks just fine, you know. So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. I uh, just want to make sure everything is focused for you guys. First thing we're going to do is take out this chest section right here, these little missiles. And these will fit on the bottom of his feet. But if you can see, there's a button here, and it's not one of those you just push it and they go firing. Uh, but if you put pressure down on it, then they all three shoot out. So that's basically how it works. Get these back in there. All right, so this section right here, you're going to separate right there. We'll set that to the side. This section right here, uh, separate his legs. And you can take out this and go ahead and straighten that out. And set that to the side as well. Then with these, you're going to move those up right there. These will break apart and come this way. And just set them just like so. Break that apart, swing that up. And then with these feet, you have these little notches right here. Press those and you're able to come down all the way. There we go. With the arms here, uh, let me make sure I raise it up for you guys. 
arms here, you're going to come out, come down, come back with these. You got the little fist in here, plug them out. And pull that little face down, pull this section down. And he is almost done there. What we're going to do next is grab Leon here, take his little weapon away, set that to the side, pull these little arms down, connect that little piece right there, and then he's going to go in a little seating motion and you'll just bring these around. Same way that you did with Dran, flip it upside down, plug it into his chest, and there is his chest piece. A couple other things that we're going to add to him is you can take this little missile and you can see that there's, there's a little button right here. You can plug that in there. It doesn't go in all the way, but uh, it will stay in there. So there you go. It's got a little spring in there as well. Then with these two sections, you see those clips. Same thing over here. And his legs can, you know, separate a little bit, but he starts to split right there. Part of great gold ram mode. Uh, this is going to turn into his gun. I just want to be careful with that little button right there. Otherwise, it will fire and you'll more than likely lose that little missile. But he comes with, you know, a ton of these things. And the more of these figures that you buy, like Sorokagi, Gold Rand, Captain Shark, they all come with more than what you would actually need. So I, I probably have a hundred of these little things extra. Uh, then we're going to get his uh, little, whatever this thing is, little spear, whatever. It's got a proper name. I'm sure someone will put it in the comments and you can look at it there. Uh, but looks really nice in this mode. Now, the reason that you buy this whole set is for great gold ram mode, but this steel is quite impressive. Uh, you got some nice gold, you know, all the way around. Everything looks really good, and I like the way that his little fighter jet turns into his chest. Uh, same way that, you know, Dran did as well. But just give you guys a little 360 here. And I got a couple of comparisons for you. So first off, why don't we do a comparison with Goldrand himself. So you can kind of see these two guys side by side. They're about head to head. Uh, I guess I can throw in Sorokagi there as well. So there you have all three of the members or five if you include Dran and Leon. We'll come back to Sorokagi here in a bit because we're going to put him into a uh, little flight mode. A couple of other comparisons I wanted to do for you guys. There's uh, G1 Sideswipe, Masterpiece uh, Blue Streak. Uh, we also have, oh, there went Blue Streak, hopefully it's okay. Uh, there's Generation Springer. And I thought I'd grab a G1 Combiner that was, you know, a decent height. Uh, there he is with G1 Computron. So we'll go ahead and set him to the side as well. All right, next thing that we're going to do is combine him with Sorokagi. But before we get onto that, uh, he's going to connect right here. Uh, move him to the side. We need to get Sorokagi in his backpack mode. So we're going to take his sword here. And I'm going to make sure this is still focused for you guys. Take a sword. You're going to plug it back here for him. Uh, his hands, you flip those in, just like so. Pull that back down. Flip those feet up, pull these down here at the back, which were his hill spurs. I'm going to lift up on this section, come back with it, pull this back like so, pull these legs forward so they kind of spin around together, push the head in, come down with that all the way. Let me get this thing out. Let's take this uh, little sword out of the way right now and bring these legs around. And then you could, uh, you know, store this back here somewhere. Put it right there. And put those there. Now he's got these two clips right here. And that's going to go on his back. Put that down for now. There we go. And now we can come around with that. Connect that there. This can connect back right here. You have these missiles that won't go up all the way just because of his headpiece right here, but you got his wings. 
and he is in his flight mode. Which is pretty impressive. You know, Sorokagi, you know, with the wings makes everything look a lot more grand, but uh, we're not going to do great gold rank and buy mode in this one, which is going to be all the guys combined together. That's going to probably be for Wednesday or Friday for you guys, and I'm going to probably do Captain Shark on one of the other days. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will leave the links of all the other figures to make this guy complete in the description, and I will talk to you on Wednesday.